Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about projector cloaking. Now, using the projector device to actually hide and cloak our ship from enemy players and other things alike. Now, it's been quite an interesting topic, and there's been much discussion about actually using it, so I thought I'd put together a little bit of a video showing you how you can use the projector block to cloak your ships, disguise them into both the asteroids and the space. Now, it's not perfect, and as you can see over there, on larger ships, it's not very good at all. It works very slightly to actually disguise them into the environment, but on the smaller ships, it actually works really well, so you can turn little Henry here into a stealth variant. Now, the first thing I noticed, the biggest problem was the colour, the base layer underneath the cloak, as you can see here, is white. And it, it, the problem was it just stood out far too much under the actual cloaking layer. And now, this was the actual cloak shell that I started to build. I started to build a number of different shapes and sizes. I built a rectangle. The rectangle stood out too much. The square stood out too much. And I did a perfect circle around the ship, like a bubble, like you'd expect an actual shield to be. And it just stood out too much. They were too perfect. So I went with this diamond sort of shape with staggered sort of compartments and different edges and I wanted it just to be as like natural as possible in shape, have bits missing, have squares and I've not covered the bottom because I didn't think it was necessary for all the blending solutions that I would actually need. But the problem with this is a solid shell, I can't shoot out of it, I can't move out of it. So as we move on, I'll show you the first variant of the cloak. Now, when I first built this, I forgot to change the actual colour scheme and I just want to show you how much the colour scheme makes effect. Now the first thing, as you can see, we've cloaked it into the environment, we've blended it a lot more, but you can actually see some of the whites are actually peeping through. And then the second thing you'll notice is the thrusters, just look how far the thrusters actually stand out in the design, and as the further we get away from it, you'll also notice that the white stands out more. So for about here, yeah, the white's blending in really well, but you get to here, the white starts to stand out more and more and more, and then the thrusters come into play later on. So if we turn the thrusters off, for instance, you can see that we've darkened our silhouette a little bit more, we turn that off, we stand out like a sort of thumb, turn it back on, we've blended ourselves better into the environment. Now we're at a chance where someone could look by and possibly miss you. But let's take that to the next level. So here we have a full blacked out Henry. This is the full stealth variant. And the first thing we're going to do is turn off the thrusters. And then we're going to activate the shell. So as we pull away from this Henry, he doesn't get any lighter in tone. And you can just about see him actually in the environment around you. Now the problem with this is that the further you come away, the projected skin actually comes off before the actual ship disappears into the loading zone. So you can see as we're coming further and further away, it's becoming more and more invisible until the projector actually pops off and the ship pops back in place. So it's actually becoming more visible. So at this distance, the actual projector has disappeared completely and you can actually just see the ship really solidly in the environment and that's why it's important to use asteroids and other things to cover you and conceal you as well while using this projector at further distances but as we come back in the projector pops back on and at a quick glance we could just jump across the sky and we'd miss that ship on the end right now let's move on a little bit further so i tried this out on the bigger ships and the problem with the bigger ships is that it had it just it just since the, the bubbles around the ships are too big it makes them stand out far too much now this is blacked up and it was originally purple before this is one of the alien ships that I designed and we'll hop inside here and I'll actually show you what we're doing. So there's the projector block we just walked over and we hop into here and we can actually activate the bubble that is concealing the ship considerably more than if it was just left out like so. But at the same time we've got the thruster problem that needs to be disengaged so you'd really actually have to think about how you'd conceal these thrusters if you wanted to have a cloaked ship that could move because the thrusters are one of the components that really make your ship stand out when they're behind these shields, as well as the pulsing of the actual projector itself. But I'll show you one of the designs that it's worked really well on. You've probably been looking at this asteroid, and maybe you've spotted it, maybe you're not, you'll have to tell me. All right, so you can see we've got a ship over there, but where exactly is it? Now, now we're looking quite hardly actually trying to find the ship. We know it's there, but if you were just passing by in your cargo vessel, Maybe you wouldn't. Now, if you thought the yellow ship was the one that was cloaked, no, it's, it's this little ship here. And you can see it's just been cloaked away into this light, darker shadow. And I think they work really well in the shadows. And as we pull back away, it almost disappears from that asteroid. You can see the yellow one really clearly. And as the shadows actually disappear as well, it stays cloaked rather well compared to the little yellow ship that's standing out like a sore thumb. So camouflage of the base layer of the ship is very important in doing this cloaking. 
But I just wanted to share this with you today and just show you a little bit what you can do with the projector blocks if you want to try to camouflage your ships into the environment and give yourself that advantage. Say you were coming here and you were going to ambush some large ship or cargo vessel coming between these two asteroids. Having your ship's cloak like that would significantly increase your performance rather than just having a standard ship. So I'll just grab this one. This has just got the white engine bays and if we hit it just within one of these little craters of this asteroid, like so, if I can get it pressed down, there we go. I'll even put it in the dark actually so we have a bit more of a comparison. You see it stands out a lot more than the actual original cloaked version with the projector. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.